What's up everybody? Theme Rhino from ThemeRhino.com. Welcome to a new YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over how to properly set up headers and footers for your Shopify store. Now, th this is actually a very easy and simple tutorial to understand, but it's actually very, very important. So just because it's simple doesn't mean it's something that you can gloss over, all right? So basically, headers and footers are a little bit different depending on what Shopify theme you have. Every Shopify theme is going to present their headers differently, and some Shopify's have multiple views for how headers and footers are set up. So let's go ahead and take a look at, for example, the Wolf of Shopify theme alpha, and let's see how that Shopify theme uh, kind of presents its headers and footers. So to do that, first of all, you have to get the theme. Now, in this case, I have the theme. You guys don't have to get it if you don't want to. The link will be in the description. This is wolfofshopify.com. We're actually going to be taking a look at the headers and footers on both themes. Um, you guys can do this with your themes at home, maybe your free themes that you're using, whatever kind of setup you're using. Just go ahead and follow along with me. And if you're interested in getting these themes from wolfofshopify.com, I'll leave my discount code in the description box down below along with the affiliate links for each theme. Now, each theme, remember, has has different features uh, I've created videos on both I've explained both and kind of what they do and I'm gonna continue to make videos on these themes and other themes uh, in the future uh, some of them including turbo themes uh, sh you know uh, shop demise the beautify all these different kind of themes out there uh, we're gonna be talking about and exposing and um, when I say exposing I don't mean a negative way but we're gonna be diving deep into them all different kinds of themes so uh, let's go ahead and get started the first thing to understand is this button right here this button is a is a, a uh, menu that creates a hamburger menu what a hamburger menu is it is is essentially these three lines that you're seeing you have a top bun you have a middle burger and then you have the uh, bottom bun which is referred to as a hamburger menu on mobile you typically tend to see this hamburger menu towards the right side because many people are righties right when I say righties they're right-handed individuals and just pick yourself using a cell phone with your right hand typically your thumb hits this area perfectly okay now not all themes are created this way so you have to be aware that what we're talking about is the theme alpha and if you haven't seen yesterday's video on how we set up uh, the uh, theme go ahead and watch uh, yesterday's video um, you know just click on the YouTube channel you'll access all the videos but regardless this is referred to as a hamburger menu and the whole purpose behind a hamburger menu is just a style there is really no functionality behind it if anything it could decrease functionality it could decrease the presence or the benefit of having it on your desktop version now you have to be aware that you have desktop view and you have mobile view and that will make a change or it will kind of affect how your theme functions so if we head over here to theme settings we have the header button now the header button allows us to add logos and things like that but more importantly we have a bunch of different headers now every theme is different so on on alpha we have the ability to have 15 different headers on on the regular Wolf of Shopify theme, I believe we have five different headers, okay? Um, well, actually, you'll see them in a minute because we will kind of take a look at how they look, um, but that's just something to be aware of. Now, different headers look differently. So, for example, what you were seeing is header one. Now, as this loads, you're seeing header now number two. Notice the difference. It says the word menu here, and it shows these two simple lines, and it still has the same uh, animation of a drawer effect where it opens up the menu, right? So if we just select here header version three, let's go ahead and wait for that to load. Notice the green bars loading up here. It says menu, M-E-N-U. When people click on it, it has the same effect. Let's go ahead and select something random like menu number eight, okay? And let's see how that looks. So everything with header number eight is placed on the right side. Notice how we have the hamburger button, we have the add to cart button, we have the search feature, we have all the different features associated with it. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one, maybe like header five, and see what the difference is with header number five. So once again, let's wait for it to load up here. And notice we have a typical type of header with a logo on the left. We have some heading titles on the top, right? We even have a drop down here, and then followed by a search, followed by a USD, and then a add to cart. Now, 
we could sit and look at the different type of headers all day. So let's just look at only two more. Let's select, for example, header 12. And let's see what header 12 offers. So header 12 is this white bar on the left. Um, it has a logo, hamburger menu, an add to cart, and a search function along with a uh, drawer that pops up or animates on the right side, uh, which is a little bit different. And now let's take a look at header 14, for example, and let's kind of see how that looks. And on header 14, we have a similar effect to header 12, just a little bit wider, same placing, but now on the right side with the opposite animation on the left. If we view that feature on mobile, we have the hamburger menu to the right, logo on the left, cart, and when we click on it, it forms a drop down of the different um, links that are available in our header. Now, just as an FYI for everybody, to edit the header and the navigation, you want to go ahead and head over to the back end of your Shopify theme, select the online store button, and then select navigation. So navigation is the button that allows you to edit these things. As just a general rule, you're going to want to have on your navigation, your main menu, for and this is for headers, all the product type links or links that are associated with the sales of products. So what does that mean? If you notice here, I have a home link, catalog, candy, clothing, and contact us. Other than the contact us, all of these links are associated with the sales of the products. In this case, we have a candy store uh, that happens to also sell clothing. And so we kind of value that the contact us button and we put the contact us in the um, in the uh, in the header menu simply because there could be wholesale orders and things like that. And if you guys know about this company, Sour Strips, obviously, it's, you know, it's not mine. This is a remake of that certain company, uh, the store. And this is just showing kind of how things work. Now, from a uh, expertise standpoint, it would be valuable to add any link that is associated with the sale. Remember, that's the golden rule when it comes down to using Shopify headers or just having links in a header in general. Now, the reason why that matters, it comes down to one reason. Consumers are not interested with links that are on your website that have nothing to do with products. When consumers visit your website initially, it's because they're interested in a product. If they want to contact you, they'll make sure they'll find, they'll go out of their way and find a contact us button. The only time you should have contact us on the top header is if it directly relates to an increase in sales. That's it. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the footers. The footers is something that we find on the bottom of a website. And just to give you guys an example, there are different kinds of footers with different features. And like I said, every theme is a little bit different. In this case, we have one footer set up. And this one footer set up for the alpha theme gives us the ability to uh, kind of control where things set up. Now, if we go to theme settings here, notice how there isn't actually a footer section here. And, there, and that's because it doesn't have uh, as much um, kind of geographical customization. What we can edit is the links, the content, the text, essentially the topography, which is the, the words that you're seeing on the screen. So let's go ahead and select this footer button. And notice we can essentially have a drag and, drag and drop section of our website where we can edit the location of things. So if we want the logo, which is in our second column to be on our first column, we can just simply drag it upwards, right? And you notice how things kind of change. Um, on the footer, you want to have everything that's the minutia, the contact us links, the newsletter links, the social media links. Uh, the links are basically everything except for sales links. So anything that is not associated with the sale of a product is what you want to include in your logo. And some people might argue, well, isn't my social media associated with the sale of a product? The answer is yes, but not on a sales perspective, meaning people don't need to go to social media to necessarily buy your product. What they really need to do is they need to select a product, add it to their cart and check out. So just as a general rule, footers um, are, are basically where all the extra links go that have nothing to do with the sale of the product. Now that we know kind of how the alpha wolf theme, which is this theme right here, the second link, uh, looks from a header and a footer standpoint, let's go ahead and take a look how the regular wolf theme uh, looks like from a standpoint. So the price of the uh, alpha wolf theme is $295 when it's currently on sale. Normally it's $455, but the wolf of Shopify theme is 
$125. Um, when it's on sale, normally $159. Uh, and if we go here and take a look, let's see how different it is as a theme in terms of what it can offer. And remember, the guys, that the golden rule is that just because a Shopify theme is cheaper does not necessarily mean it's worse. It could mean that it's better. It's just different for everybody. There are going to be certain features in certain themes that might benefit certain people. Um, there might be people who have greater benefits from a cheaper theme like this theme versus the Alpha Wolf. There might be other people who find the Alpha Wolf much more beneficial than the original Wolf. So you just have to do your research and figure out which one is better for you. Now, let's take a look at the cheaper theme, which is the regular Wolf Shopify theme, the different header configurations. So right now you're staring at header version one, which is a logo on the left, text in the middle, followed by uh, icons on the right, which is add to cart, uh, profile, search, etc. Okay, here we have header version two, which is uh, text in the middle, uh, excuse me, logo in the middle, uh, I, uh, navigational menu on the left, and icons to the right. Let's go ahead and take a look at header version three, which we have icon on the left, uh, navigational menu on in the middle, and icons on the right. We have header version 4, which is similar to one of the others that we saw, but it is uh, a logo in the middle, text on the left, or excuse me, navigational menu on the left, and icons on the right. And then we have header version 5, which is a hamburger menu with the, with, the, with the text menu on the left. We have an icon in the middle, which is our logo, and we have our icons on the right. If we click on the menu button, uh, let's go ahead and just save our progress to do that. Um, let's give it a second. Let's click on the menu and we can see here there's a drop down that says the different links that we have. And that's once again, header version five. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the last one, which is header version six, which is similar to header version five, but just a different configuration. We have our icon on the left, or also known as our logo on the left, icons to the right, along with a hamburger menu also to the right. Now, once again, when we click on the hamburger menu, it'll look the exact same way. Let's go ahead, save our progress and see the results of that. Okay. So we clicked on the hamburger menu and it presents the menu with a slideshow, a slider menu uh, that pops in uh, with a right hamburger menu. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this uh, header looks on mobile. So great configuration on mobile, looks the same way and very, very attractive. As we go ahead and scroll down, we have a, a good view of the of the product as soon uh, as uh, the website rather as soon as we enter a product page we now see a footer menu now this footer menu is different than the footer menu all the way at the bottom the creators of this theme inherently know that there are certain settings or certain buttons that people might want to click which is why i tell people not every theme is created equal and price is irrelevant if you look on the bottom here this is a little feature that's added in like an add to cart a menu button a a uh scroll up feature, different features like this that are associated with the theme when you're on a product page. And obviously the creators of this theme have a good reason for it so that when people ha are on the product page and they need general header navigational links, the header navigation links don't take away from the actual product page, but are added in. Similar to the sticky add to cart, which is also a feature on mobile as well. So it's still there, okay? Now let's go ahead and take a look at footers on the least expensive theme, which is the wolf theme, which link will be in the description along with the discount code. Um, and all the links to our playlists, editing it, all that kind of stuff is gonna be there also. So let's go ahead and hit customize and let's take a look. It is the same theme, by the way. Let's just view it in a desktop point of view. Let's go to theme settings or footer rather. And here with our footer, we have a few settings. So we have text icon and colors. We have background color, background color, text icon and colors. But notice how we have the same features kind of set up twice. Well, it's not actually twice. It's just different settings. So here is the footer homepage, which means how the footer will look on the actual homepage, which this is the homepage and how the footer will look on every other page other than the homepage. So in my case, I set up the footer to look exactly the same, which getting rid of the social proof feature here, we have a search button, we have an icon or a logo rather, and we have some social media here. 
um, we can go ahead and switch that up so since we're on the home page we'll switch up the top one we have header version uh, footer 5 which adds a logo some social media uh, an additional place to edit uh, text and things like that we have a newsletter on the right and by the way to edit all of this you just go to the theme settings and you select the actual footer that you selected so in this case we have footer version 5 selected right in the footer home page we have to go back to theme settings and we have to select footer version 5 right here to make the edits notice how it says customer care here and it also says it here so that's where the edits begin okay um, let's go ahead and take a look back at the footer at header uh, footer 4 so a little bit different there is almost two feet two parts to this footer we have a logo uh, area here we have a whole bunch of links a newsletter area followed by a copyright area we have footer version 3 which is a newsletter just a very very clean type of footer um, we have text on the left uh, you know text in the middle uh, a search button in the middle excuse me logos on the right footer version 2 we have another very clean look um, we have this this copyright on the left or bottom left separated by another part of the footer which is logo followed by more links with more dividers and then finally footer version one uh, which is a logo followed by some icon links here followed by an area to add more links so in general uh, just basic footer setups that are pretty decent uh, what I want you guys to focus on when it comes to conversions is mostly your header your footer You sh really shouldn't worry about too much Just make sure overall that your footer gives you access and once again Of course to edit your header or your footer just head over here to this navigation button And if you don't see it click on this online store button Then you'll see this little drop down with navigation and you can edit your footer and your main menu Regardless of what theme you have and just remember that not all themes are created equal Some are better than others and some are going to have more features than others so this is a complete video everything you need to know on headers and footers on shopify if you like this video give this video a thumbs up make some suggestions for new videos and ask me if you have any questions i'll be happy to help you set uh, your theme up if you want any help with uh, design services go to themerino.com and uh, you can contact me there all right i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching peace out bye